coming up <laughs> i'm so excited about this god responded and i felt this warmth of his love tears were just rolling down my cheeks with the warmth of his love nothing, nothing but the blood. And welcome to my YouTube channel where we believe that those who refresh others will be refreshed and that the Word of God is motivational. My name is Khotlelelo, also known as Favor, and I come with a word of encouragement like always. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe, to, please do like my videos and comment, say something in the comment section. Do subscribe because you will get a word of encouragement from time to time, either through a vlog, either through a sit down like this, or through audio scriptures. And sometimes, uh, not sometimes, every day I do post on my shorts, I post some scriptures to just edify you and I. Okay, so let's get into the video for today. I know daddy loves me. That's the title of today's video. I know daddy loves me. Okay, before we go into, can you just say a word of prayer? Lord, we thank you. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for your divine love. Thank you for your love that is everlasting. Oh, that is unconditional. And God, today as we speak, as we we encourage each other. Lord, I thank you for your presence in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I was praying uh, yesterday and I began to feel the love of God. That actually took me way back to a time whereby I was doing things in the church, going around, left, right, and center, I was there, but, and I was going around telling people, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you, God loves you, but I had never actually really felt the love of God. You know, when you have the knowledge that God loves you, but you have never actually really felt the love of God. And I was just so overwhelmed by everything. And I remember I sat down and leaned on my bed and I asked God, please, can I feel your love? Your And immediately God responded and I felt this warmth of his love. Tears were just rolling down my cheeks with the warmth of his love. And from that time on, I got the strength, the oomph <laughs> to continue. And that's what the love of God will do. The love of God is power. That's why the word of God in Ephesians 3, can we just read that? It's a powerful scripture. It's in Ephesians uh, 3, verse 18 to 19. Let's just read in the NLT. Verse 18, and may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience mm, the love of Christ, though it is too great to fully understand. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. I want to highlight that part that says, uh, and you, that you may have the power. The love of God is power, and it needs power to grasp. So it says that you may have the power to understand how high, how long, how wide the love of God is. And that is my prayer today for you, for me, for everybody that is watching. May we have the power to grasp the love of God. May we experience the love of God. It says that, that we may be made complete with all fullness of life. 
and power that comes from God. Amen. Hallelujah. Can we read uh, the second scripture? It is in uh, Romans 8. It's in Romans 8 from verse 35 to 39. It says, Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, for your sake we are killed every day. Uh, we are being um, slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. So here the Bible is asking, I mean the word of God is saying that can anything ever separate us from the love of God? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity? And I want to come to you today and say that it doesn't matter what you're going through right now, but God loves you. And having that assurance that God loves me, that daddy loves me, it will give you the strength to go through whatever you're going through, knowing that, you know what, it means that there's something something god wants to do something through this situation because i am very sure i am very certain that god loves me and that can only come when you have experienced his love when you continue to express and and, and confess his love for you and maybe you don't have a daddy in your life maybe you know you you lost your daddy through death through separation or you you just never knew them so I want to tell you that you can feel a father's love through God. You can experience a father's love through God, no matter if there, you have a daddy or not. The Bible says that he is our father. The word of God in John 1 verse 12 says that those who receive him receive the right to be called the children of God. So he is our father. And the word of God also says that he has given us the Holy Spirit that cries out inside of us. That It says, Abba, Father. You know, it gives us assurance that we are the children of God. And today you can say, Abba, Father, I know you love me. Allow me to experience your love, that intimate love, you know, that you will be able to tell me secrets, that love where you bring me, draw me closer. God can draw us closer to him through his love and he tells us secrets because he loves us. May we, 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 we yearn and cry for that intimacy with God and that love that we know that we know God will give me what I need. And you know God will tell me secrets, He will tell me things to come, and God will make me feel loved. It doesn't matter the situation that I'm going through. And through that, we will always be sure that Daddy loves me. I know God loves me. And I just want us, you know, also to be able to confess the love of God. The Bible in 1 Corinthians tells us what love is. God highlights for us what love is. And you know, we can actually be able to confess the love of God through 1 Corinthians 13 and say, I know God, you are patient with me. I know you are kind to me. I know you never keep any records of wrong. I know, I know you will never give up. On me confess his love confess his love because he loves you amen 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 so this is just the word that I wanted to bring to you today a word to encourage you I know all of us are going through different situations maybe in our workplaces in our homes or wherever or in ministry, whatever. But may we give ourselves a moment to just sit in his presence and say, I just, I just want to feel your love. And that love is power to push you to keep moving, to keep 
going forward. So, and maybe you are here and you don't know the God that I speak about. You don't know His love, you don't even experience His love, you don't even know that He loves you. I want to invite you that you can become His son, you can become His child, and you can be able to boldly say, Daddy. And I just want to encourage you to accept Him in your life. The Bible says, like I said in, in John 1 verse 12, that those who received him receive the right to be called the children of God. And you can receive that right to be called a child of God today, right here. So you can say this prayer after me. Say, Lord, I believe with my heart and I speak with my mouth that you died for me, rose again, and are now seated at the right hand of the Father. Come into my heart and make me your child. Thank you, Lord, for salvation. In Jesus' name, Amen. And if you have prayed the prayer, congratulations, you are a child of God and you can experience His love anytime, every day. Glory be to Jesus. As simple as that. And do come by for a word of encouragement from time to time. Do check out my other um, uh, videos as well and if you have stayed until the end say yes ma'am until the end glory be to god yes say yes ma'am until the end in the comment section thank you so much for coming by and i value your time all right until next time god bless you Thank you.